hi brothers and sisters. God bless you all. It is April 20th, 2017. And I have um, some news to share with you. I'm going to start with last night. I believe that, I mean, for God to give me this type of wisdom to, to say certain words that normally I don't talk like that. So when I do talk like something that's odd to me, I know that it's not of my own spirit, that it's from the Father. So with that said, um, last night I was talking with my mom. We were, um, we were driving to Buddy's training class and we were having a conversation and I mentioned to her that I said, man, it's, it's like everything is in play right now, you know, that something big is about to happen and there are people that are just asleep. The church is asleep and they need to wake up because something's happening right now. And it, it's like a chessboard. It's, it's a chess game. You know, all the pieces are in play. And in order to play that game, which I don't play, you know, you have to strategize, you know. And so it's just, and so I mentioned something about, you know, a chess game. And so it's like all the pieces are, are being played out, you know. Like it's everything. I mean, if you know the Bible, you know the Word of God, you have a relationship with the Father, and therefore you see, you know, the news, and you, I mean, everything is just going lined up with the Word. And even um, there are events happening that are setting the stage to that event. And plus, you know, the Lord has given his watchmen and women warnings for years. And now it's, it's that time, you know? And so, to, so as I, I believe this was a confirmation because I was talking to my mom about this and I said something about the chessboard. And then she mentioned something about that was something that happened um, to her bank account. You know, that they charged her twice for a bill, and so she has less money in her account than what she is supposed to have. Not only that, but our gas, the prices, is going up. So what happened before, you know? I mean, think of their plan. Wouldn't it make sense for the gas price to rise if they want some some kind of event to happen to where, you know, they want us to spend more money, which then will cause us to, you know, which will is less in our account, you know, because we all need gas to get to point A to point B to point C, you know, and, you know, so they know that we need gas, so therefore they're going to rise it up. And then... And then to have money missing from the bank account, you know, and it's like, and then if an event was supposed to happen, some kind of a terror attack or something, or terror attack, you know, by our government, you know, if something was to happen for their new world order to come into play, you know, then it would make sense for all of this to happen you know what I mean because then just like the beast system you can't buy or sell anything without a chip and look in look in the news you know the RFID chip the mark of the beast it is out it's been ready and it's being inserted into people today you know and thousands of them have it I mean uh, Dr. Oz was advertising it on his show I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous. It's, we're so close to the end and people don't even realize it. And so, I believe this was a huge confirmation for me. At Buddy's training, there was another couple here there. And this woman said out loud, she said, oh, there were two uh, Russian bombers that got intercepted. Or the, 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 um... There, there's two planes, two USA 
planes that got intercepted by two Russian bombers or something like that. And something with the Russian bombers by the Alaska um, happened yesterday. And she mentioned it. And then she mentioned the increase of the gas. And then she said, yeah, it sounds like war to me. It sounds like something big is about to happen. <laughs> I look at my mom and said, we were just talking about that because you know what? For me to be in a place like that, for another person to be talking about something that I was just talking about, like word for word, and was thinking in my mind, that had to be God. That had to be a firm confirmation because a lot of this world is asleep. A lot of this world is distracted and they don't know the time that we're in. But yet this couple, this woman, she knew what was up. So not only that, okay, not only that, but I heard of a video, I was led to a video that popped up on my feed that was talking about a new bill. So I did some research on this to see if it was true, and it's true. That, and guess what? Guess who did it? It says here that Democrats introduced bill to give Obama and Biden power to remove Trump from office. All right, so Congress just filed a bill to allow ex-presidents, meaning <clears throat> Obama, to remove Trump from office. And it, it, it was two days ago, three days ago. So this is just, so it's true, you know, that there's a bill. So you see, that's another play happening. And it's in the Bible, y'all. It is in <laughs> Revelation. You know, Revelation 17, verse 9 says, And here is the mind which hath wisdom, seven heads or seven mountains on which the woman sitteth. And there are seven kings, five are fallen, and one is, and the other is not yet come. But when he cometh, he must continue for his short space, for his time is short, a short amount of time. And the beast that was and is not, even he is the eighth, and is of the seventh, and goeth into perdition. So, you know, it's talking about the son of perdition, which, you know, God has revealed to a lot of people. It is Obama. You know, other people have their opinions, but that's all it is. You know, because he has revealed the truth to his watchmen and women. And, and so saying that that king you know that was and you know which was obama then the one that was not which is talking about trump but when he does come into play he's only his time is short he's only he's only gonna be king you know for a short amount of time which think about it i mean out of all of the presidents really like trump <laughs> And then there's a bill that is out that is, says that he can be removed. I mean, that's just what they want. And plus, Trump is in it too. You know, it, it, it's all just a play. It's all a deception to fool you because he's in on it. Don't be fooled. <laughs> Let the Lord show you. Seek, seek the Father. Seek, seek the truth. You know, really diligently pray and fast and seek the truth, you know. Don't be caught by surprise and don't be distracted in these times. Be ready. Be prepared. And then, so then, not only that, so not only about the bill, but, uh, you know, Sister Judy just put a, a video out, said, urgent warning, please share. And, you know, and it was about something that was sent to her about a drill taking place in, like, New York, um, New Jersey area about, like, um, a nuke, some kind of, like, nuke attack or something. It's just a drill 
Or is it just a drill? I mean, all, all the players are in play. So, anyway, my phone's acting up. So, let me uh, end this video. Pray about everything that you hear, you know. Pray for spiritual discernment. And um, take it up to the Father. Take it up to the Source Himself. The man, the boss, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. He will show you the truth. You know, don't doubt. Don't doubt him. You know, wake up. Be alert. Realize what time that we are in and what's about to happen. So be prepared. I love you all. God bless you. And I hope you have a blessed day.